Hi guys and welcome to another LD Squad tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to play most of the PC Steam games on a Mac. Uh, but this is going to be the shorter process compared to my other video which was a longer process. The reason the other video was a longer process uh, is because you'd use wine skins from the wine skin winery. Uh, but the reason it's longer is because you'd have to create a different wrapper for each different game. Uh, this is because the different games would run better on different engines. Whereas this process is a lot shorter because you just use one program called Wine Bottler. Uh, Wine Bottler basically allows to well, it creates a PC environment which allows you to open most EXE files. So the first thing you need to download is Wine Bottler itself. Uh, the link is going to be in the description, so you can easily download it. So I'd recommend downloading the stable version as it's going to be less buggy. Uh, so you click on that, you download it. Once it's downloaded, you open the .dm, .dmg file. Uh, then it's going to ask you to transfer two files over into your applications. So that'll be Wine Bottler as well as Wine. So you just highlight them both and drag them across into your applications and move into your applications. Uh, once that's been installed, you then need to download this, which is the new Steam build. Um, also, the link will be in the description, so it's easy to download. Uh, so you download this. It took me about a minute to download, but other people have stated that it, that it could take up to half an hour. It just depends on your download speed, but I've got quite a quick download speed, so it downloaded quite quickly. Uh, one thing as well, once you've finished downloading this, give it a couple of seconds and it will decompress. Uh, once it's decompressed, it will look like this. Uh, so this is the Steam build here. Uh, you've already got wine bottle in your application, so as soon as you try to open this, uh, it will auto automatically open it using wine bottle anyway. Uh, I know it looks like it's the old icon, but it will update once you actually go into it. So I'll show you. You go into it. You won't need to install it or anything. Basically, when you uh, click on it, it will just come up with an update, and you just update it. Uh, it does take a little while to load up, unfortunately. That's because it's opening up Wine Bottler as well. There you go, it opens up. So, obviously, because I've already opened it up beforehand, it's already been updated. It shouldn't take too long to, to update, but again, that depends on your download speed. For me, it's very quick. Um, so, obviously, you log in. So, let me just log in quickly. Just log in. It already also has DirectX built in as well, so there's no need to actually install that into it separately. It's already installed, therefore, most games should easily run on this. I mean, I've tested out all three of these games, uh, two of them which are PC only games, and they've worked. They've worked fine. But obviously, <clears throat> it depends on your graphics card as well. But if you've already played the game beforehand on a PC and it's working fine, then it should be fine. Uh, so yeah, basically, then you just click on whatever games you want, you download them, then you install them, um, and then you can play them. So as you can tell, it's a it's a lot it's a lot quicker method to use uh, to actually play PC Steam games and most people say it's the more updated version but I do also like to use Wineskin Winery because it gives you that ability to have a bit of control uh, and then also I can create different wrappers for each game I personally prefer to do that myself but I know a lot of people would prefer all the games to be in one place so it depends on what kind of method you want to use really um, I hope this video has helped and if it has please uh, like the video and subscribe uh, to my channel for further videos. Thank you.